Good morning, my friends. Okay, today's Revit tip is going to be about work planes. And I'm talking about work planes when you're building a family. <clears throat> I have been building a lot of families lately, mostly windows, windows with surrounds around them and special frames and shading devices, stuff like that. And so one of the most critical things when I was working on these multiple families is work planes. And I realized I hadn't made a video to show you guys the importance of them and a little trick that I use when I'm working on these. All right. So let me um, show you straight off. This is fairly quick video. And it's just a quick one about work planes when you're working on families. All right, let me share my screen with you. So here we are in Revit. Okay, all right. So let's just say I'm gonna make a brand new family, any type. So I'm just gonna go to File, New, Family. And the template, the template, I'm not gonna go with Portuguese today. Sorry for all my Portuguese viewers. Um, Let's see, Korean, I haven't learned very much Korean. I'll just go with English today. Okay, so here we go, down to um, generic model. I'm just gonna go with generic, just to show you what, <clears throat> just the basics. There are many things. If you guys have a, a specific type of family that you would like me to show you how to make, then um, put it in the description box below. No, not in the description box, in the comments. Add it to the comments and say, hey, could you show us how to make a light fixture that actually turns on and off? That kind of stuff. Anyway, so here, we, except don't make it, don't suggest something that's just wacky like a cow. Somebody else has already done that. And you should look it up. I'm serious. Just for fun, go on Google and look up <clears throat> Revit Cow. And you are going to see an amazing piece of, it's, it's pushing Revit to its limits, big time. Okay, anyway, so here we go. <clears throat> Marcel can make just anything in Revit in the whole world. I'm just telling you. All right, here we go. Um, let me go to um, 3D here. This is the top-down view when you open up the generic template. But I'm going to go to 3D. Mm -hmm, hit the little house up at the top. And I'm in 3D and you can't really, you're kind of like floating in a cloud. You can't, you're not really grounded anywhere, okay? And I just wanna show you that I typically, you can run up here on the create tab. You can um, come up here and set work plane. Work plane is a group over here, top right. And set your work plane and you can show your work plane. And I like to hit show because when you show it, it actually gives you something in your world that you're working on. So you're not just kind of floating up here in whiteness anymore. You've got a, a work plan. So if I'm working on that plane, okay, down on this ground plane right here, <clears throat> um, the, um, what I'm gonna do is draw right on top of that plane. That's on the ground, okay? It's my reference level. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say create, this is, I'm gonna keep this simple. I'm just gonna make a quick extrusion. We could, I'm, I'm not going to go through one of these times. I will go through the, the, the ones I use the most and explain to you which one. There's one of these I don't use at all. But there's a blend after an extrusion. There is a revolve and a sweep and a swept blend. And then you've got voids for every one of those shapes. You have a void, void extrusion and blend, revolve and sweep and swept blend. Anyway, this is all you need to build all the content in Revit. But that's not why we're here. We're going to talk about work planes. So let me just make an extrusion on the ground here. And I'm just going to, if I were to just put a rectangle on the ground, okay, and you can glance over and see that my extrusion is going to start on the reference level. The work plane is set. You see it? The work plane is set on the ground. And my extrusion is from zero, which is touching the ground, up a foot. Okay. So I'm just letting you know, see what the, the settings are. So when I check the box, we get a solid object that's sitting there a foot tall, okay? <clears throat> but that's still not what I'm here to talk to you about. 
I can edit this extrusion as much as I want and change its shape, okay? You can change it to any shape you want. Look at this. I'm just messing with the edge of it so that it comes up as a different shape, whatever, okay? You can also grab these shape handles and pull this shape around and change. You can just click on it. You can pull these shape handles to change the shape, but that's still not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about work planes. If this were a serious object, I don't care what it is right now. It kind of looks like a, a, a something silly. But if this were something important, and I said, you know what? On this, this flat surface right here, I need to build another object on that particular surface because I'm building. I can't build it on there right now because that's, my work plane is on the ground. I can only work on the ground. When I make a, an extrusion or when I make a blend, whenever I make a revolve, everything is based on the ground right now. So to get working on the side of this little guy, I need to set my work plane up onto the side of that, okay? So here's how I would do it. I would go to the Create tab and I would hit Set again. Under Work Plane, you hit Set, okay? And when this dialog pops up, you can pick a plane that you already have. Like if you put in a reference plane, you could choose it, okay, off of here. But what I typically do is I click this button, the radio button for pick a plane, okay? And when I hit OK, now it wants me to pick a plane. And I can hover around and highlight any plane that is in this. And when I, I hover near the edge of it, and this plane right here is the one I wanted to work on. So that's where I click. And do you see that? My work plane shifted up to that side. So now when I go to work, let's say I create and put another extrusion, I'm going to put a little round extrusion. I can put an extrusion on this wall right here, okay, on the side. And it's still going to come out. If you look over here, it's starting at zero, which is on the face that I chose. And it's coming out a foot. And I can change the numbers, but I'm just going to leave it at a foot for now. So when I check the box, it extrudes out from that face. So I can quickly change my work plane and put objects on that face. Now, the reason it's important to not just build something and then kind of slide it over and move it over is the reason you don't want to do that is because when you move that plane, this object won't move if you do it that way. Like if I built a circle and moved it kind of close to that, and so it looked like it was touching it, and then moved the plane away, well, let me just give you an example. I'll show you right now. If I click my object, this, this surface has a shape handle. And now when I move that shape handle around that object that is built on that plane by, remember, because I used that face as the work plane, it is attached to it, okay? Let me change my work plane to the top of this box, okay? So I would go to create, set, pick a plane and say, okay, and now I'm gonna work on top, okay? So see how the work plane switched up there? This is how I do it. Whenever I'm building objects, I'm always changing the work plane to the new location. I leave it on so I can see it so that I don't have any guessing of where, my, where I'm actually working, okay? So I know it's on top of this box. So I can create, let me create another extrusion. And I'll just put another one of these little um, uh, circles up here, okay? I'll put a little circle up there and done. And you see, it's up on top now of my box, okay? And so if I click on my box and there's the, the top of this thing has a shape handle on it. And as I lift it, do you see how the little guy is floating on there because I made it on top of there. Okay, now, <clears throat> that I'm just going to say this, this is going to be a nice short video because I was trying to show you the importance of turn your work plane visible and then place it on the surface of the object that you're working on. And then you can um, work on that surface and the objects actually adhere and stick to those surfaces. 
But now I'm going to show you a little trick before we go. I like doing tips and tricks. And so this is the trick. I'm going to set my work plane back to the ground. Watch this. I can just go to set and in the drop down, I'll just go reference level. Okay. So it's back on the ground. My reference is down on the ground. Okay. And you can drag these, um, not my reference, but my work planes back on the ground. You can drag these around so you can get a little bit of an idea. Okay. So here's my object. <clears throat> Watch this. It's fun. I'm going to create a little extrusion on the ground. Okay. Little tiny extrusion. La la la. It's just a little box. Okay. There is my little box that I made. Isn't that beautiful? <clears throat> of course, it's got shape handles also. And so do these other objects, okay? And even if you change the shape and size of these objects, they're still it's still adhered to the top of the box. See that? Still works. Now, here's what I wanted to show you. <clears throat> you can change the work plane of these objects. If I all of a sudden decide that this box doesn't belong on the ground, it needs to be up on top of my object also. I can select that little box. And here's the fun part. I say pick new. It is a, um, it's a button that is available up on the, um, your, um, up at the top here. You can hit pick new. Now watch what happens. It picks a new work plane is what it's doing. So look at this, pick. Here we go, watch. Here, 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 here. Where do you want it? You can move these objects around to, and I just clicked on top. And now that is adhered to and stuck to the top of this box. So I can lift this up and it will ride on there as if I had created it on there. Okay, this is just a trick for you guys. So I can take this little guy and move it over there. So you can move these things around by hitting pick new, okay? You can move these objects all over the place and it gives, this just gives you the ability to create objects, setting the work plane and work on that plane. But if you find that you need to move something to another plane, just pick that object hit pick new, and bam, you can move it where you need to. All right. Well, my friends, that is all I wanted to show you today with work planes. I use them every single time. Just turn them on, make them visible so you can see and know exactly where you're working. I built every single one of those windows using work planes, and it's very, very important. Okay. All right. I hope that helps you guys. Have a fantastic day. And until we meet again, happy reveting. All right, bye-bye.